Today we're going to go through a full install of your Comet 2. It's a pretty simple process, but I'm going to go step by step and show how it's done on my 2019 Toyota Corolla hatchback. And if you have questions about the hardware, go see my unboxing video. And if you have any issues installing the OpenPilot software on your Comet 2, check out my software installation video elsewhere on my channel. So the first thing we're going to focus on is removing the cover for the factory forward-facing camera. On most cars, it's usually located here at the top center of the windshield behind the rearview mirror. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust my rearview mirror down to make it a little bit easier to access here. So on the newest Corollas, you remove this by sliding it down along the direction of the windshield. So hopefully you can see this here. I'm just going to push it gently down and forward. And you see there, if we give it a little bit of a wiggle, it drops down. So next we remove this rear portion of it by pulling it down in kind of a hinged motion. There's some clips on the inside here that it may be easier for you to actually reach in and move those clips. But if I just pull down here, you can see it unhinges and comes off and we get the entire cover off. Okay, so now that we have the cover removed, we can see the forward facing camera and the connector here that we're going to remove and attach our comma Y harness. So I'm just going to unclip this right here and move it out of the way. So now that the cable's out of the way, we're going to attach our Toyota Y harness. This will go into the camera in the factory position. The factory cable will connect here on the back. So I clip this end to the factory position. And then I take the factory cable here and connect that into this harness. Okay, now that we have the harness connected, our next step is to connect the relay box. So I'm simply going to connect this right here. And you can see it has 3M tape on the bottom that we're going to peel the film off of and find our location to mount this. So on my vehicle, I found the best place to mount it is right here in the center. So I'm actually going to move these cables a little out of the way so that I can do that now. And once you've found a good location for it, simply press it into location. Hopefully you can see that there. So take your time and do some test fitting and make sure you've got a good location for this on your vehicle. Um, try to move things around, even try and put the cover back on and make sure it all fits under there before you pull the film off and stick this on permanently. Next step, we're going to connect the RJ45 cable and go ahead and start to route it up into the headliner a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and start tucking this cable up in here. So now that we have the RJ45 cable connected, the next step will be to connect the USB-C cable. Now it's time to put our camera cover back on and start tucking everything up inside of here. So I'm going to bring my USB-C cable through the center hole where the mirror goes through, clipped everything in. Now I can position this wiring up in the extra empty spaces. So 
So you can see it's now all tucked up in here. I can put the rear of the cover on. And we are now done working in the camera cover area. So the next step is to route this RJ45 cable along the headliner and down the weather stripping here. It's a little tricky, but I promise it's not that hard. I have a tip to use something like just a plastic card. This is an old hotel key card. And then you can use it to help you push this cable up under the trim makes it a lot easier. So I recommend anything you got like this in your wallet, just use that. No hard tools or anything that you could potentially damage your trim with. So now I'm simply going to just push this up into the trim gap. I'm just using this card to help get it a little bit further up in there. In here. Here I'm using the card to try to create a bit of a gap. You can see here that I got the cable around the top corner and it actually just slides in there pretty easily. So I'll take a moment now to mention the side curtain airbag. A lot of people ask about this and if the cable being routed along the A-pillar is safe for the side curtain airbag. So yes, you're routing the cable over the area that it deploys, but in my opinion, it's not going to affect the deployment of the side curtain airbag because it pushes this trim up and out of the way. And all it's going to do is simply push this cable up and out of the way. And the cable will actually be beyond the airbag at this point. However, you're installing this at your own risk so if you want to take the extra steps to remove this trim piece and route the cable behind where the airbag mechanism is, then that's perfectly fine if that's what you want to do. So now I've gotten to the weather stripping and I'm just going to push this in along the weather stripping area. Okay, now we'll simply attach the cable. Make sure it clips in to the comma power. And that plugs right in here into our OBD2 port. So now we've got our comma power connected. We have our harness connected. Only thing we have left to do is mount our comma two on the dash. Now I have the mount here. So I'm going to line it up with the center of the windshield. Mount it a little bit down from the cover because you saw that the cover has to go down along the windshield to be removed. So you want to give yourself a little bit of clearance there and to just make it easier to get this on and off. So here's a tip I learned from one of the Discord members, Eric. In his video, he taped a string to the center line of his windshield on the outside to make it easier to mount his comma two. So that's what I've done here. And if you would like a clear mount instead of the black mount supplied, get a hold of Eric. He's got a really cool video. He makes clear mounts. I actually have some on the way, but for right now, I'm gonna use the standard comma mount that comes with the kit. Okay, so. Put your comma two up on the windshield Engage about how high you want it. I want mine 
as high as possible. So I think about right there. So you can mark it or you can eyeball it. I've got a pretty good idea of where it's going to be. So I'm going to take the film off the mount and go ahead and line it up and apply it now. And a tip if you're in a colder climate, turn on your defroster for a little bit to warm the windshield so that the adhesive will apply better. So let me remove that. Let me make sure I know about where my mark is. It doesn't have to be perfect. I very gently put it up there. I'm going to slide the mount in. Now I'm just going to press. Looks pretty good to me. So I have just enough room to remove my comma two and mount it back on, which is good for me. Okay, we've come to the last step. Simply take the USB cable, plug it into the back of the comma two, make sure you fully seat it. And it powers on, look at that. So the last step is to go out and drive. Okay, we have the Comma 2 installed, it is now calibrating. So all we gotta do is drive. So when it's calibrating, it's getting an orientation and trying to compensate for any uh, irregularities in the mounting position. If it's a little bit off-centered or a little bit to the side, it's going to uh, readjust the model frame to center it so that every car has, you know, a leveled, centered model frame, you know, as best as possible. Sixty, seventy, ninety. Okay, calibration is finished. So we are now driving with our comma two. It's that easy. Okay, guys, so I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped some people out. If you uh, have any suggestions for videos or have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, I've got a few more videos I'm going to be coming out with in the coming days, like how to troubleshoot some of the common issues you may have with the uh, Comma 2. So if you're interested in seeing some videos like that, uh, go ahead and subscribe so you'll know when those videos are coming. Alright, that's it.